everybody, this is Christina, and I'm coming to you from my new location at the moment. Um, I'm in between moving from Washington State to Henderson, Las Vegas area. And um, so most of my planner stuff is packed, but I did get a little happy mail yesterday, and this is it. So I am trying out a new planner from a store on Etsy called PT Paper. And I'm really wanting to get back into like Happy Planner or Erin Condren vertical style planning. And, but I didn't want anything as big because I wanted to be able to carry it around with me. And as I was searching and searching for weeks and I finally found this really pretty planner that I can make my own I mean I'm going to make my own covers um, eventually but um, I found this lady on Etsy and you she gives you like a choice of like seven different weekly layouts that you want if you want horizontal or vertical or vertical with lines or vertical with the three separated spaces or just solid lines she gives you all kinds of options so you can customize how you want your planner. And this is the one that I picked. You can get different covers as well. And she'll also personalize it for you. And it's got the awesome rings just like Erin Condren, which I super duper love. And I'm just going to show you really quick what it looks like inside. The This cover is, you know, it's a little flimsy, but it's pretty thick, kind of like the Erin Condren. Um, Erin Condren is probably a little bit thicker and then this is the first page on the inside and um, her page this paper that I got is white um, I don't remember if you can choose cream or white but I think it was just white um, but anyways the paper is um, a nice thickness and it's very smooth like if you read her reviews everybody's complimenting on how smooth and how they love the paper so <clears throat> that was one of the reasons that sold me as well. So this is um, how it comes. It comes with the first page. It comes with the 2017 calendar, which I already stuck these little dots on. And then it comes with 2018. And this goes from July 2017 to June of 2018. And then it comes with these dates remembered pages for 2017 and 2018. And then it goes directly into the months. She's got these really great sturdy laminated dividers. And I'm probably going to, um, I love how everything's just black and white so you can color it or you can um, do whatever with it. It's a nice thick divider. Um, and, but knowing me being a scrapbooker, I'll probably cover it up. And then the first page is just a dot grid for any notes you want. And then it goes directly into the monthly. Super beautiful. I love how it's just simple and black and white and you can decorate it in any colors you want. And then it goes into your weekly. I'm not gonna show you the first week because I already started it, I'll show that later. But this is what the weekly um, layout that I picked out. It's just the long vertical without any um, separation. And I just think it looks gorgeous. It doesn't have a sidebar um, because it is a smaller size. I believe it's about the, the width it's about the width of one of these happy planner I'll show you that in a second um, but yeah it doesn't have a sidebar or too much on the bottom or top um, you can put some washi up here um, it is dated nice and pretty um, you can put your own date headers if you like and I did ask her before I purchased it um, if it fit Erin Condren or happy planner stickers and it fits both. I've already tried my Happy Planner stickers back here and it works perfect. And um, the Erin Condren stickers will work great in here too. So that also sold me 
on this planner. So that's just how the whole book is. Um, the dividers are all a little different. Here's September, October, November. So if you like the coloring book, if you like to color these, this, um, the divider paper is pretty thick, so you can, um, there's some note pages in the back I will show you in a second. I did a test on some of the pens that I have. Um, that would be really pretty to color. And then here's January and February. That was pretty. March. April, and this is next next year, 2018, May, and then June. And then at the end of the book, after the month's over, you'll get some note pages, pretty lined note pages. And then in the back here, I did a 10, a, 10, a pen test. And these are all the pens that I have with me. Um, all my other pens are packed. So um, I do want to try some watercolors and see how the paper reacts to it. But I haven't done that yet. Um, I, though I've tried a smear test. All these, every single pen that has a check mark are all pens that work perfect on this paper. Um, none of these pens bled through except for the Sharpie, of course. But the Sharpie didn't smear either. So the only one that smeared was the Faber-Castell in the 1.5 because it's really fat and kind of juicy. Um, but it didn't bleed through or anything. So you can see the only one that bled through was the Sharpie. So if you want to use like your Tombow markers or your Faber-Castell pick pens, um, your mild liner highlighters, these are all work perfect on this paper. So I just wanted to show you this planner. And yes, here are um, my Happy Planner stickers that I have. These is, this is pretty much all that I brought with me um, since everything else is packed. But you can see that this book is about the same height as the Happy Planner booklets. But it's a tiny bit wider can see here so it's pretty much an a5 size and it's really really gorgeous the paper quality is amazing and I can't wait to do more videos showing you what I do with it so I'll talk to you guys later and oh if you have any questions just leave them down in the comments and um, if you want to see more videos on this book just go ahead and like and subscribe and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.